This is Beck with ETC Tech Services, and today we're going to break down echo expansion bridge segments. So to begin with, what is an echo expansion bridge? It is an echo interface that, among other things, can connect up to four independent echo systems so they communicate as one large echo system. In any echo system, you can have up to 16 control devices and 16 output devices assigned across 16 different spaces. What the bridge does is allow you to expand on the number of allowed devices. You still have up to 16 spaces total, but you can get up to 64 control devices and 64 output devices in one system when you use the bridge. Whoever is assigned to space one on each segment will communicate together and so on and so forth for spaces 2 through 16. The two caveats to keep in mind are each segment needs its own power supply and the Echo Access Bluetooth interface is the one device that does not communicate across segments. You will need an Echo Access Bluetooth interface for each segment you want it to talk to. Let's go to our example. Here we see four independent Echo systems. Each system has two spaces, and in each space we have one control device and two output devices assigned. We also have an Echo Connect station power supply for each system. At this point, these systems do not communicate with each other at all, so notice they have a solid line breaking them up. If you activate zone one from the station in space one, of system three, it's only going to activate that zone. Zone ones for space ones in systems one, two, and four are not going to be affected. Now let's add our bridge. All four systems are going to be tied into the bridge. And at this point, I like to think of them as segments rather than systems. You will notice that there is a dashed line separating them rather than a solid line. And notice how they all have the same components, including their own Echo Connect station power supply, but the grouping looks different. Each segment still has a space one and space two, but in this example, Space one has a zone one in all four segments and they are all tied together. So those devices are going to act like one device. If you activate zone one from any space one station, all four of these units are going to activate because they are all thinking they are space one zone one. Similarly, segments one and two have zone two devices assigned. So any of these stations in space one across any segment, if it activates zone two, both of these units are going to activate. Segments three and four have some unique zones. So segment three has zone three, segment four has a zone four. So they are not buddied up with any other output devices, but you can still activate them from any segment's space one station. So even if you tell zone three to turn on from space one station on segment one, the unit over on segment three is going to turn on. So again, the basic idea of this with the echo expansion bridge segments is that you are gaining extra control and output devices. Expanding your echo system device limit from 16 controls and 16 outputs to 64 controls and 64 outputs. You still have 16 spaces, but plenty more devices. Thank you for watching.